tell me when you're ready to start. You're good. Okay. All right, so the first step is we're going to take this template, and this is the top, obviously, and it lines up here on the dash, okay? Take that, we've got to drill five holes. We've got 11 32nd on here. Okay, so we got that in place. We'll start with hole one. Two. Then for the fifth hole in the middle, we don't have to go quite as big as the, uh, the one inch uh, direction, say. We can just round this out a little bit and then we'll be all set. Uh, just enough to get the uh, external antenna to come through, which you'll see in a moment. Okay, so after we drill the holes in the dash, now we're gonna take the, the back plate and we're gonna take the external antenna and we're gonna run it through back into the cab. Okay. Actually, see the hole's pretty good from this side with the light. It's good. So he sped that through there. And then I'll come around and catch that, make sure I have that here. And at the same time, provide him with the harness here. We have the uh, the three wires here that are going to go through this way. So I'll feed that to him. Now that's in that side. All right. Okay. So now that we've got the three wires coming through here, we're going to take the uh, which one you got first? The brown. brown wire. Okay. And that goes right next to the unused uh, pin that just has the white plug in there. Okay. Then we go black up top. Finally red. You got a good connection on all this, looks good. All right. Okay, so now we've got uh, the wires in there. We're gonna take the other side and we're gonna put this green wedge with some pliers right down in there, okay? Now the green wedge is in there and we're ready for the next step. Okay, so now Alex is going to go ahead and take our four pin Deutsch plug, put it through the back plate. Okay, so we got the wires in there, go ahead, and then that would that plate then would go up under here. Alright, so now we're gonna move. Actually, you can go ahead and connect the power as well. Got that connected. And now we'll move to the inside to do the installation of the unit. All right, so now we're back in the cab. We have, uh, we'll start with the external antenna. Okay, so we'll run that right through the welded tube here. And then that'll come out here. And then we're going to attach that. That screws right into the external antenna. Okay, so that's in there. Then I'll pull some slack here on the harness itself. And then we're gonna plug that in, of course, to power the LT unit. Then we're gonna take these wires here for the switch on the back cover, okay? And we will simply connect these. One. And I like to turn it this direction so that they don't bump into each other. Plenty of room that way. Okay, so we've got our back cover. Now we can feed some of the slack back through. Wires. Okay, and then we'll take and, and close the case. Now here we're only going to use two screws. I'm going to put a screw here and here, and that's it. And I'll show you what they look like here. The star washers here. And that kind of helps keep the uh, cover on. Uh, because we're only using two screws, this will help so that this part doesn't pop up too bad. Okay. Got the 
one side screwed in. Line that up again. Press firmly on the back cover. That's all set. So our next step is we're going to take four of these guys right here. We're going to place the wires, everything flush back up over the holes that we already drilled. We place one, two, three, and four. Then, this is where it is much easier to have two people, as we will uh, show you on the other side, how we have to hold, one person sits here to hold it, and the other person's able to drill them in. So we'll go ahead and show you that step now. Line up the plate with the bolts, push the plate back, take your metal nuts, screw them on the back of the bolts and once you've done that you can take your drill and screw them the rest of the way in so you need uh, 10 foot pounds on the nuts a hammer drill works best for this to overcome the mechanical lock nut and so uh, loud just a minute we found that a long extension with a 13 millimeter socket works best for this application and as you can see Dave's holding the uh, with a 10 millimeter on the opposite side you could do this on your own by uh, straddling the door but it's a lot easier with two people Always check for your socket and make sure it doesn't get left behind with the nut. Okay, now that everything's in here, you can see it's very secure. It's not going anywhere. We're going to assign it, program the unit here. So site ID here at St. Jude's is 2165 and car number one three nine okay and we save that register device to site id 2165 as car number 139 yes site assignment pending and once that's complete the unit will reboot hit okay and speed that up okay welcome to st jude children's hospital so the unit is rebooted check to make sure it's on the right software TBU version 11 we got cellular which will connect here in a couple of minutes satellites won't connect until we're outside we're in a garage and the last part we need to do here is we notice that the motor controller is unknown disconnected okay so what we're gonna do is take this tool it plugs right in under the dash we're going to go to parameters, settings, go down to control mode, and we make control mode, it's at zero right now, we need to make that one. As soon as we do that, you notice that LAN now shows connected, uh, that's instantaneous, so we're all set, we are reading the motor controller, and now we're going to come back around to the front and just kind of do a little nice housekeeping here on uh, tying it up so he's got the zip ties here and uh, he's also wiping down so that we can put the external antenna on there so the adhesive will stick better has to be facing down yeah we want the that's important we do we want the the wire coming down uh, that direction seems to get us better uh, satellite, better GPS. So press that down firmly. 
and then now we will tie it down and put the cow back on and this car will be all set. This happens to be a carry all 500. Anytime we're doing the dash mount, this is the process that we will go through. Just gonna tuck all those wires up there as neatly and out of the way as possible. And zip tie that down. Nicely done. And cut off the slack. Finishing up cutting off the slag. Excellent. Thank you, Alex, for your assistance. This car is good to go once we put the cowl on it. Yep. Three parts up there that hinge in at the top. And there's uh, this as well that needs to lock in place. These parts lock behind. The trickiest part is getting the, this as we can see right now needs to be actually put back in. It's off on the side there. So pull it out a little bit, push it back in there. There we go, now it's in, see the difference there? We'll let him button that up and that is it. Thanks for watching.